again, everybody. Um, Y'all remember the wind turbine that I built? Well, it turns out really um, a wind turbine in this area is not that practical. And I was thinking of repurposing it to do something else. Now, um, last night I was watching Top Gear USA and um, there was one point where they had to race an airboat. And, you know, it was a pretty cool scene and all that. And I was watching that airboat go. And see, the airboat didn't have any wheels or anything to propel it or nothing. And it was still, I mean, it pushed really well. It did really good. And it would fly like that. Well, I got to thinking, well, I've got a big propeller here. And I've got a motor to drive it. Could I use this and put it on old grain and make a hybrid pickup truck that runs off electricity from the from that little motor and of course the gasoline of the original motor and just uh, you know the extra push from this propeller would give me a little bit more power which would make me get better mileage and it'll probably look pretty cool too so let's see what we can do with this I think this will be a pretty good little project and we'll go out and we'll give it a test and just see how it does okay so first off we have this piece which actually bolted to the floor of the bus like that and this ran over to the handle and the thing about this is it is the same size as one of these pitches. So what I'm going to do to get the fan and the motor and everything back a little bit, I'm going to cut this off right here and weld it back on straight so it sticks out farther. See, that way I can still use my tailgate. I can let my tailgate down and all that too. So, let's cut this off, weld it back on here, and then we'll go from there. the hitch mount done see if we can get the fan put on alright so what we need to do we need to fix this propeller at a height which gives us the best aerodynamic advantage without being overly high you don't want it too high where it's hitting power lines or hitting trees or stuff like that and you don't want it too low where it's hitting the ground and I figure if I get it with the blades about that far off the ground yeah 
there should be plenty of room to get underneath of obstacles. So let's measure and just see how high that is. And there. If the goal about five foot high, that should be good. Now these are five foot blades, so it does make sense. Alright, now let's make a couple of modifications to the windmill itself. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got this hooked into the same circuit that the, the uh, automatic unloader is hooked into, because it's plugged into that. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go flip the switch, and we're going to see just how much air this puts out. that'll probably work uh, it's got more power than what I thought when you actually hook it up to 12 volts that thing whizzes around don't it kind of like a helicopter or something I think we should go give this a test and see how it does come on along with us switch and just see what it does this will tell us if it'll actually work there we go station what I'm gonna do I'm gonna top up right now and then we're gonna go drive we're gonna do about a hundred miles come back and when we come back what we'll do is we'll top up again and check our mileage I'm gonna try to get at the exact same pump number seven there and I'm gonna try to get uh, sitting exactly how we're sitting right now that way it'll be accurate anyway let's go ahead and do this all right, I'm going to fill it up. Until it pops the thing, until it pops the trigger. Okay, so we've topped up. Now, we'll go do our drive, and I'll come back and do the same thing. Okay, here we go. Let's try it.
Oh, All right, after that, after that pretty good little drive there, we're back. And we're gonna get back on number seven. Let's do it again. Go ahead. And see how long it takes to fill up this time. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Let's see what we got. 100 miles. 2.1 2 gallons. Um, let's figure it out. That sounds like about 40, 45 miles a gallon, 46, something like that. Almost 50 because it's almost uh, 2 gallons for 100 miles. That's not bad. $3.67 to drive 100 miles in a 68 Chevrolet. That ain't too bad. All right, I would call that a very successful trip. Uh, we just did 100 miles in Old Green on 2.1 gallons of gas. It's about uh, about 47 miles to the gallon. That's not too bad for a 52-year-old truck. And uh, I was really surprised at how much force that this puts on the truck and actually pushes it down the road. I mean, it. it I mean, 45 miles an hour is about the best you can do. But hey, that's, that's, you know, I just did back roads and, you know, did a hundred miles. Took, you know, took a little while, but it was fun. It was a nice little drive. Anyway, yeah. So I'm gonna start using that all the time. Uh, I made it to where I can take it out of that and put it in the car. Anyway, yeah, that'll work. Oh, one more thing though, April Fool's Day. There is no way this would ever work. <laughs> I would say a lot of y'all already figured that out before the video started, but this is an April Fool's prank because there is no possible way that this would work. <laughs> but I had to do something. And I am gonna use the windmill generator for something else. This little generator is still good. And I'm gonna put it on my old water wheel that I was building, that full-size water wheel. I was gonna put it on it. Anyhow, I appreciate everybody watching. Sorry for pulling on y'all's legs, but uh, had to do it. Y'all have a good one. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.